I'm gonna be descaling this cast iron pipe. I'm super excited to use my Rigid Sea Snake Mini Pro with TrueSense. So this is the latest version of the Sea Snake. If you have a Sea Snake compatible monitor, that's all you need. You, you don't have to go out and buy a new monitor. So this is my existing monitor I was using with my previous uh, camera. So all you have to do is plug it in and then you'll be able to use all the new features that this uh, Mini Pro has. I'm gonna show you real quick. So since this is a brand new camera, I'm not gonna wear any gloves for now, but one of the coolest things that I like about this camera is the digital self leveling. So if you remember on the previous models, if you rotated the uh, camera head a little bit, you would hear like little noises. That's because you had moving parts inside. In here, you have no moving parts whatsoever. So what does that mean? That we're not gonna have to be taking it in to get it serviced. Um, the other thing that I like about this camera here is that it's smaller, the diameter is smaller, so we can get it in smaller pipes compared to the other ones that were a little bit uh, bigger. So you had a, a harder time trying to get it to smaller diameter pipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my monitor on so we can inspect this uh, sewer line and see the new features. The new Mini Pro does come with the USB. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here so we can go ahead and record the footage. There it is. Something that you do wanna make sure is that you update the software on the monitor for it to work properly with the new Mini Pro. I tried using it without the update and I was not getting the self-leveling feature in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and update it and test it out. One of the coolest things about this camera is a digital self-leveling head. And I wanna show you, you gotta take a look at this. So you can see here on the monitor, like if you spin the camera, you, your image is always gonna stay upright. And like the other ones that the camera actually rotated inside here, you could just see the frame on the outer part when it becomes vertical and horizontal but I think this is actually pretty cool. The other cool thing you can do as well is you can digitally zoom and pan on a certain problem area if you have that. And the coolest thing too, if you see here in the monitor, right in this area here, you have a tilt sensor in here. So what that means if you're doing an inspection and you come across a belly and your camera head is going down this is gonna show you negative degrees. So that's really important information when you're doing a scope. The other thing is, so if you go up, it's gonna tell you it's going up. So that is pretty cool. It does have a counter, so you can see how many feet of push rod you fed into your sewer line. So now let's put it to the test, let's see how it works. I'm gonna feed this brand new camera in here, and let's take a look inside of the sewer line. And you can see it already. It's keeping my image up right, right there. So I'm always gonna be looking at the bottom of my pipe. And we can see that transition here from the ABS to the cast iron pipe right there. But how cool is that? Look at that image, it's very clear. And I'm digging this. It does have HDR. So what that means, high dynamic range. So your image is gonna be way clear when you're going into the pipe. And there it is, we're gonna be doing a lot more shots here. We're gonna to get to work.